Hi guys, welcome to Rodha. My name is Ray Prakash. Hey, let's continue with this series here. So we'll do now splitting a different kind of series, which is solved by splitting of denominator. Okay, splitting of denominator. Hi guys, welcome to Rodha. So let's start with the different series here. Is splitting of denominator, right? So how it is solved here? Now see, what is actually mean here? So if we have a number like one by twenty-four, so we can write this number as let's say if I try to split denominator, I can write like one by three into eight, let's say, or I can write it like one by two into twelve, right? Or I can like it by one by four into six. So in each case, how to write? In I write. I want to write in the form of here something one by three minus one by eight. Right. So if you try to see or to try to solve it here, you'll see eight minus three is five. It becomes five by twenty-four. But what I want? I want one by twenty-four. That means one by twenty. One by five has to be divided. Has to be multiplied outside. Correct. This is a form here. So one by three into eight can be written as one by three minus one by eight, and this difference, this difference of three and eight is five here. This five will be written outside. Okay. Similarly, one by two into twelve is written as so one by sorry one by two minus one by twelve, one by two minus one by twelve, and it should be what? It should be one by ten. Difference here or difference ten here? So let's divide ten outside or multiply by one by ten. Same way. One by four minus one by six, okay, and this difference of two here, so difference will be two outside, right? Okay, so now this fun time basically uh, uh, so solved uh, this basically helpful in solving series which are in fractions actually, right? So we'll see that, yeah. So don't uh, don't uh, interchange here, right? Means it is one by three into eight, so one by three is the bigger fraction, and one by eight is a smaller fraction. So always do like one by three minus one by eight. Don't reverse to make it one by eight minus one by three. It goes for anything, right? Let's say if I have, let's say if I have one by a thirty, and I want to write in the form of one by three into ten. So what should I do? Difference is seven. So write difference seven outside, and then one by three minus one by ten. Right? It's very easy. Now see how to solve this. Uh, solve questions using this funda here. So, let's say the question is one by two plus one by six plus one by twelve plus one by twenty, and it goes till let's say twentieth term. So, what is the value I'm asking here, right? So, what is the value I'm asking here, right? So, if you see here, so try to this is fraction series. So, try to observe right, right in that form, right? A uh, denominator splitting form. So if you observe here, this one by two can be written as one by one into two plus one by one into three. Sorry, two into three. One by twenty as one by. Uh, sorry, one by twelve as one by three into four. One by twenty as one by four into five. Right till twentieth term. So what is twentieth term will be? So twentieth term will be first term one into two, second term two into three. So twentieth term twenty into twenty one, and similarly the nineteenth term will be what nineteen into twenty. Correct. This is the series here. So now I can what I do here. So difference everywhere the difference is one actually. Difference is one, right? So what I can do here, I can simply write like one by one minus one by two plus one by two minus one by three plus. One by three minus one by four, and it and it here goes on right. It becomes one by four minus one by five, and it goes on. Okay, so what is the last term we're getting here? So it should be one by nineteen minus one by twenty. This is a nineteen term. Okay, uh, so it should go like this actually. Okay, let me write here. So plus it goes like this plus. One by nineteen minus one by twenty, and plus last term will be one by twenty minus one by twenty one. 
you can observe what is happening here it is this terms are getting cancelled 1 by 2 1 by 3 uh, 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 all these terms will get cancelled right till here plus 1 by 20 minus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 19 in the previous term minus 1 by 19 right so what i am ultimately left with at the last 1 minus 1 by 21 that is equal to what 20 upon 21 so that is the answer <coughs> okay so this is the answer 20 upon 21 right this is about splitting out denominator okay so let's do some different kind of series on this uh, let's say the question is Three by four plus five by thirty six, okay, plus uh, seven by one forty four, okay, then nine by okay. Four hundred, okay, and this goes on. So what is that? To find this value till thirtieth term here, right? Till thirtieth term, what is the value? So what we'll do in this case? So three by four is there, okay. So now if you observe it, right? So in this fractional series, right? So if I try to bring in that denominator splitting form, it becomes easier for me. But for is for for bringing in this form, that continuity has to be there, right? Means for cancelling it, like in the previous question, it was like 1 by 1 into 2. Then this 2 was continued to 1 by 2 into 3. So I could cancel 1 by 2 minus, minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, right? The same way, I need that continuity here. Okay, so how to make that continuity here? So what we'll do in this case actually is, what we'll do in this case actually is, we'll try to write this in one C. 3 by 1 into 4 plus 5 by, then it's going like 7 upon 9 into 16 right plus 9 upon 25 into uh so again just carry it right we well, know this continuity here 16 25 okay this is going on right notice 30 time you can sense here is 30 term so now what is this what are these terms here this is basically 1 is square 2 is square 2 is square 3 is square 3 is square 4 is square 4 is square 5 is square right and this is going on okay so what is 30 term so 38 term should have first term 1 is square 2 is square, second term 2 is square 3 is square. So 38 term should be 30 is square and 31 is square. Right. Okay. And what is this, what is this, uh, this numerator here? 3, 5, 7, 9 are all odd numbers. So what series is going on? 2n plus 1 series is going on. 2n plus 1 series is going on. Okay. Now, in this, what we can uh, sense it actually. So last term here would be how much? It should go like this, huh? 30 square into 31 is square. And from here, what we can do? This term will become 7, uh, 2n plus 1. So if I put 30 here, this term becomes 61, right? So this is at n equal to 30, 61. And this is 900 into 961, correct? There is a general form here, okay? So now I can sim down. What you observe here is this difference is already here. This difference of 1 and 4, 3 is already 3 and 3 cancels out, right? Basically, what I'm trying to say is if you write like this 3 by 1 into 4, so you write like 3 by 1 minus 3 by 4, right? So you have to take that 3 outside actually, right? So if you write like this, okay, so 3 by 1 into 4, that basically becomes. 3 into 1 by 1 into 4. If you write it, it becomes what? 3 into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4. And this difference is 3 here. Then you divide it by divide it outside into 1 by 3. So this 3 and this 3 is cancelled. So what I am left with, I am only left with 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4. Right? So whatever difference is here, that difference of 1 and 4 is 3. Difference of 4 and 9 is 5, already present here. Difference of 9 and 16 is 7, already present here. 1625 9 already present here right so that means there's no issue in this case right so what i can do is i have to divide and multiply nothing in this case 
I can simply write in one by form. Okay, so I can simply write in one by form, right? So let's say now I can simply write this as one by one minus one by four plus one by four minus one by nine plus one by nine minus one by sixteen plus right. This goes on. Ah, what is the last term here? One by nine hundred minus one by nine sixty one. So again, same thing. Everything will cancel out. What will be left actually? So one by nine hundred will cancel here. So I'm just left with one minus one by nine sixty one. So what is the answer here? Answer is nine sixty upon nine sixty one. This is the answer. It's a beautiful question here. Okay. So this kind of uh, funda will help us in solving a splitting of denominator series actually, right? I hope it is clear. Huh. Okay. Now let's move to a, a one tougher question actually. Okay. So let's say the question here is you have to find sum of first fifteen terms here. Sum of first fifteen terms here, right? What is sum of first fifteen terms in this case? Okay. Now look at this. Sum of first fifteen. Sorry, the question here I'm not written. Okay. So now the the numbers here or the values here are under root one plus one by one is square plus one by two is square plus one by one plus one by two is square plus one by three is square plus under root one plus one by three is square. Plus one by four is square, and this is going on. Okay, to so find the value till fifteen term here, right? So such question again. This is fractional series, right? So what to do, guys? Here, just try to break few terms and see some pattern you're getting or not, right? Let's try to break few terms here. If I try to solve this first term, what is first term here? So if I try to solve t one here, what will get? One plus one is two. Two plus one by four under root. That is what. Under root nine by four, that is three by two. Okay, t one is three by two. Fine. Now, what is t two? I am getting here. Just solve t two here. T two is this term, right? Just try to solve t two. One plus one by four plus one by nine. So one plus one by four plus one by nine. If you try to solve it, it's the under root. That becomes under root forty nine by thirty six. That is under root. That is seven by six. Okay, fine. Right. Again, observe, guys. You are getting the form here. What? One by two. If you leave numerator, one by six. The first question which you solve one is splitting of denominator. Okay. Now let's see next one. Next one here. Try to split one more term here. If I try to split t three, I'll get one plus one by nine plus one by thirty six. That becomes how much? Thirty six and nine. Uh, their LCM. Uh, sorry. Correct. No. Sorry. Sorry. Nine sixteen is there. Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. So if it is sixteen here, right? So it becomes under root one sixty nine by one forty four. That becomes thirteen by twelve. So yes, I got that pattern now, right? I got that pattern because now what is happening here? So if you observe it, your t one is what? T one is three by two. That can be one plus one by two. T two is seven by six. One plus one by six, right? Getting it? So t one is three by two. So one plus one by two. This is t one, right? Just you can observe. Just the number is just one more than numerator. Here also number is just one more than numerator. Plus one plus one by six, right? Seven by six plus third. What is third term here? One plus one by twelve. T three. And this will go on, right? This will go on till what term? This will go till fifteenth term. What is fifteenth term here? So what is what is this term actually? What is two? Again, write two as one into two. Six as two into three. Twelve as three into four, so what is fifteen term will be one plus one by fifteen into sixteen, right? So one plus one by fifteen into sixteen is what two forty, right? That is two forty, and then I can simply solve it now. Okay, so just try to solve it. Just try to solve it here. So what value I am getting actually now? So again, so one 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 will be fifteen times. So write this fifteen plus one by two plus one by six 
plus 1 by 12 till 1 by 140 we know sorry 240 we know what is the value here 15 plus 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 it goes on till 1 by 15 into 16 we know that only first term will be left from here you know, split like 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 huh and from here last term will be left so what i'm getting here now so i should get here right 15 plus 1 minus 1 by 16 right that is 15 plus 15 by 16 that is 255 by 16 this is the answer for this question right so i hope it is clear with all of you okay so in next video we'll continue this and we'll see for splitting of three terms and four terms also okay thank you for watching